What's up everyone, I'm Mortal here, I'm bringing you a commentary on StarCraft 2 And in, in the, well, kind of the top right corner is Nico Uh, Nico, yes, GG, have fun, good luck And Pete's pretty, probably in a pretty good mood And uh, top left is Wuzup WZP, I'm gonna just call him Wuzup So well, let's get this game on the way. I like that little little sign right there. Yes. Uh, I don't know why it's lagging so much. Uh, I'll go check. Uh, I'll be right back, guys. Okay, I'm back, guys. Uh, maybe that fixed it. I had to turn off Hamachi. Hamachi. I was using it last night. So, yeah, I guess it did fix it. So yeah, let's get, let's get this game underway. He's gonna scout the wrong way and gonna turn back right before that happens. And with his overload coming over here, he's gonna know that uh, they are in close position game. And this and this uh, map is something I do not know. I'm sorry, guy. I really don't know these maps at all. Uh, I thought I don't think I played here too much. Oh wait, yes, yes, I did. Uh. Well, this this kind of looks like a different map that I used to play in. High yield, destructible rocks right there. But this part right here, uh, it's a it's a natural. No, this is a natural, and then they could break these rocks and go expo over here. So yeah, getting his nat getting his is natural at 15 at 16 supply or 15 probably. Probably just missed it. I'm a bit sick today, so. Sorry guys for that's annoying you, but I was dying to cast, so yeah. Gateway going right up. I'm gonna make his cybernetic core. This overlord gonna be watching, be watching over with his little four eyes, eight eyes, two on each, no, four on each side. So, well, Nico is actually ranked uh, pretty like. Five or six in Grandmasters League. Last time I checked, I might be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. But yeah, gonna scout up for this expansion. See if there's any, like any natural going down. Cybernetic score just finishing. Gonna go right up to the warp gate technology. This this probe just gonna be peeping inside that egg. See what's gonna be hatching. A drone. Yeah, it's very one guess, so we know that oh what's up is not gonna be going for a heavy gas build. Possibly uh mass zerglings. And here's two zerglings, but that's not a mass of them. A zealot just staying here to block off. See whenever you're facing a Zerg opponent opponent, you always want to block off. But not not that's not the same as Terran, or maybe uh, Protoss either, because Protoss have the stalkers, which they can get out mad early. So yeah, gonna be gonna be like just punching away at that thing, and the pro going right through that Zella. If you guys don't know how to do that, he just right clicked one of these middle fields, which made him go right past, right past. Two more gateways going down. Uh, Corona boosting his gateway technology almost done. Alright, it's lagging still. Hmm, I, I really don't know what this is then. Okay, it's natural going down. Let me try to. Let me try to. Mess around with one of these things. Everything is at low. That's pretty, pretty bad. That's lagging. I have a pretty bad computer. I don't think that fixed it, but I still like the little animations right there. It's cute. Little thing is beaming. And as I said, my zerglings, and they're coming on their way. Going to make a bunch of sentries and zealots to counter this. Sentries are good for just force fielding. 
and keeping the Zerglings away, but it also does keep the Zell out away. And let's hope that Nico can hold this off. And gonna force field this off pretty probably. Yes, he does. He force fields him in his own base. That's not uh, uh it's, yes, he's going for the warp gate now. He should be wall he should be force fielding this warp gate. I'm gonna force field those zerglings again. Oh this is a very good strategy to do. And hopefully not gonna make it into the base. Uh so yeah, now forced to retreat. More sentries and zerglings. More sentries and zerglings. So this was a very good combination to go sentry against the zerglings. As you force field all the zerglings into here, which could not attack the sentries. Then the sentry just shooting your little laser beam at it. One stalking going down. This is the like, disciple, mentor. Disciple. I've never seen a Zergling with like 5 kills unless it's going for like probes or anything. But Zerglings are pretty, pretty, pretty squishy. Yeah, and I don't know if Nico can hold this one off. There seems a lot of Zerglings. Constantly producing more Zerglings, got the metabolic boost. Going for a layer now, probably Hydralisks. And he is going to hold it off for a little bit. But how long? Who knows? Both both units lost. Uh, Protoss lost less units, but the same, nearly the same resources lost because Protoss units are worth more than worth more than Zerglings. Gonna play this a cannon here for some for some static defense. Here goes the evolution chamber going down and. Layer almost finishing. Alright, let's see what he's going for. What tech building? Most it's uh spire, so he you will be we will be seeing uh Mutalix or Brew Lords. Possibly. A good a good a good counter against these sentries and stuff and zealots. Because the zealots cannot hit and the sentries won't be able to do too much against the mutalisks. Sending some zerg. Some zerg scouts out. Protoss moving out. Nico moving out. Going to be spotting this. Gonna see those running away zerglings as fast as they can. Going two more gateways going down and the Twilight Council, probably charge lots or blink stalkers. He does have one upgrade now. Two more sentries getting warped in. And a spine crawler for more static defense. Waiting for the spire to go down. And possibly will we going for the mutilisks? Yeah, uh, no. No mutilisks. Gonna little spit out his her eggs. This creep spread isn't very good. I'd suggest like a higher a high like level gamer to get more creeps get spread so your units can move faster. But that's my only but that's my suggestion. They're in master they're in Grandmasters League for a reason, right? I'm only in silver I think. <laughs> Make fun if you want, but it's true. And Mutalix will be flying over here. Gonna kill a bunch of uh, a bunch of probes. Zealots going to help, but I don't think the Zealots will do anything against these. Against the Mutalix. And two more Stalkers gonna be reinforcing. I don't think this will be enough. As the Zealots stupidly just rush in rushed in there gonna be mining from his natural with his probes from uh, his main gonna be building some more cannons for in case more more nuisance comes more harassment gonna be killing off this pylon that is not gonna supply block him 64 supply to 111 
going to be producing more stalkers to fight against these mutalisks and moving in with all these zerglings zerglings at one armor and one claw and zero claws mutalisks have zero zero and same with the enemy no air units no no tech buildings at this moment except for blink getting researched but this is not looking very good for Nico right now because he does not have any tech or anything and he has and uh, was up has mutilus and everything gonna be moving out gonna separate the mutilus from the zerglings and Nico will be will be forced to retreat can he get us around on it he got us around on all of them that is very good he's gonna lose about three zealots and two stalkers so resources lost now now Nico lost a lot more resources than than was up killed off all those cannons Zergen staying over here probably just staying here to get some map control and Mutal is also good for using map control so right now Nico is pretty in pretty bad shape because he is like frustrated from the harassment and is like too scared to too scared to get an expansion in case because these zergans could just run over there and destroy it I'm not saying he's just like a scaredy cat and here comes the zerglings engaging and mutilus going against I think I think this game is was ups because he doesn't have too much stalkers and a bunch of good force fields going down gonna trap all these zerglings but the mutal is still gonna be sh little shooting their little glaive worms at it Nico using blink and I don't think it's gonna help too much because the mutal is at the zergling with their speed and this might be GG guys so yeah what's up taking this game right here Yo, GG goes by Nico and the XD. Well, I'd like to say thank you for watching, guys. Please subscribe, please rate, please comment, and I'll see you guys next time.